Hi, the following video is shot in the country of Egypt. This is Egypt, the country you know for having all the stuff like the pyramids, the Sphinx, and this. But the people that actually live in Egypt are surprisingly young. Over half the population of Egypt is under 25 years. That's younger than me. Which means that many of the people you see around are young. The sellers are young. The magician is young. The rugby players are young. The parkour kids are young. All of this is right next to this. In the country with one of the oldest civilizations in the world, you'll be pleasantly surprised to find the youngest population. Didi, a wahda? Nice! What you see behind me are hundreds of dogs eating one ton of food just to illustrate their point. And that point is simple. Egypt is cheap. A five-star luxury hotel is under 200 bucks. That is affordable. But when you go to the streets, it gets even more cheap. An entire McDonald's meal is $2. Another meal will cost you 50 cents. Eating with friends, that's $2. A tourist price souvenir, that's 20 cents. It's so cheap in Egypt that I can feed 600 of these dogs for 100 bucks. That's 13 cents to feed an animal. 13 cents. Egypt has only recently become this cheap and some locals are not too happy about it. But if you're watching this from the United States, come visit Egypt. Trust me, it's worth it. That's one minute, see you tomorrow. <laughs> Meet Omar. Hi, my name is Omar Samra. Five years ago, Omar was on top of the world. He had just climbed the seven summits, including Everest Mountain, and he was about to have his first child with the love of his life. It doesn't get better than this. But right after giving birth to his daughter, his wife unexpectedly passed away. He got devastated, and like most people in that situation, he almost gave up. But Omar did not. He picked himself up and dedicated himself to continuing his wife's work. Reaching over 100,000 kids. He trained day and night to reach the North and South Pole. He attempted to cross the Atlantic Ocean by rowing and plans to go to space in the near future. And to commemorate his wife, he named an entire mountain in Antarctica after her. This mountain is called Mount Maru. Because he was the first to climb it. Omar is a reminder that when life drags you to the absolute bottom, the only way from there is up. That's one minute. See you tomorrow! Hi. What you see behind me is an entire city filled with garbage. Pigs, bad smell, and dust. This is the garbage city of Egypt. But before you judge the city too much, let me show you what's inside. Here is where tens of thousands of garbage collectors live. They collect the trash from Cairo and recycle it. So much that their recycle rate is impressively high. Similar to that in the developed world. Here you will find many Christians living next to the largest church in the Middle East. Entirely carved from stone. Here you will also find lots of art on houses. But from afar, it's one giant art piece on the entire city. The garbage city of Egypt is very dirty and very poor, but it's not garbage. Because garbage is what keeps this city alive. That's one minute, see you tomorrow. Meet Sharif. Hello, my name is Sharif and I have a crocodile. Yes, a crocodile. Most people have a cat or a dog, but Sharif has more than 14 kinds of animals. Are you ready? He has a deer, two goats, horse, donkey, two chameleons, hedgehog, crocodile, lizard, monkey, two dogs, snake, owl, eagle, and a cat. And they're all rescues. That's 14 different animals, each with their own different food and habitats. He lives with a deer in his house. He travels with a chameleon in his car. He goes to weddings with his monkey. He takes his snake to school. And his crocodile, he sneaks to hotels. Even his last name means animal in Arabic. My name is Sharif al 
Sharif is a cardiologist in Egypt who treated more than 6,000 animals in his life. It's rare to find people that dedicate their entire life for the service of others. And when others happen to be animals, it's even more rare. That's one minute. See you tomorrow. This is where I am, on top of a horse with a bunch of grains. Running around to make a line in the sand. Because legend has it that this is how Alexander the Great, this guy, defined the border of his new city, Alexandria, with just a line of grain. And thousands of years later, his city is still standing, with its own library that's the largest in Africa and the biggest in the ancient world. With its own delicious food. Good weather and fascinating history. This is what I've wanted to see for years because Alexandria is the best example of how a few drops of grain with enough patience can create one of the most magical places in the world. Nice, Alexandria, nice. YouTube, if you like this video, then I think you're gonna love NAS Academy. It's a new online school we just started to give you a voice. Yes, making videos has given me a voice. And with this voice, you can reach millions of people on the internet, tell them stories that you care about, and actually change their opinion. This skill of making videos changed my life and I think it can change yours. NAS Academy has a lot of courses that are live. They're not pre-recorded. So there is real people from the NAS daily team that teach you how to make videos like we do. Give you your voice that you so desperately need in today's world. If you're a business, if you're an entrepreneur, if you're a family person, you need a voice on the internet. And NAS Academy helps you get that voice. Click on the link below if you want to see the courses that we offer. We have very limited spots. So grab yours today. Thank you so much, and I'll see you tomorrow for another video.